how you doing today? Uh, we're just basically going to look at Task Force Radio and how to install it, blah, blah, blah. We're going to put a um, link in the description for you there, um, take you to this website. Uh, what you do is hit Download Radio and get your Revolution Launcher open, which I can post a link to that too. Change your path, which is essentially you're going to go to this PC, local disk C, uh, program files 86. 95% of the time this these steps will get you to your steam folder steam apps common and then arma 3 hit ok and now uh, if you're doing this the first time you'll definitely need it to uh, update if you haven't downloaded this stuff separately so you're gonna click this here and it will start updating it will give you a check uh, so it will say like 30 out of 700 and it will count up until you finish all of them and then you're going to get a um, it will say everything's ready, you can launch a game. Well, what I need you to do is download that task force. You're going to get this .97 and you're going to extract it. So, let's delete this original one and extract this one. Now, inside of this is a plugin or a TeamSpeak 3 client folder and plugins. And this is all the stuff you want. Um, and actually, when it's installed to Arma, you can navigate to your Arma 3 folder, which is that same Steam Apps common Arma 3, and just simply go to um, find at Task Force Radio, plugins, and here's uh, the same exact file. So now, what we're going to do is uh, I would copy these. Now you're going to uh, go back to your local C drive, program 86, and we're going to look for TeamSpeak. I don't exactly remember where this thing is installed, but. Um, it might be under the, yeah, okay, so regular program files if you're using 64-bit TeamSpeak 3 client, simply go to plugins, um, and just paste them in here, and I've already got mine, so of course it's going to go over that, it's going to paste in, now when you get into the TeamSpeak here, uh, let's take a look at the website. So you're going to be put in this welcome channel. Now, as soon as you join the game, or sometime after that, it's actually going to move you to this channel. That is password protected because it automatically will do it. And you're just going to use your talk, your push to talk key. So go into hotkeys, um, push to talk default, or you can go to uh, setup wizards next, push to talk, and you're going to put um, type your key in whatever. So you don't want to be using any um, in-game armor keys, like caps lock, anything like that. You're just going to use your team speak, and it's going to let you hear anyone who's near you. And that's essentially it. Now, as a side note, if you get an error about a VTS weapon problem, something like that, the one thing I've done is um, go to that armor folder. There'll be like a folder with all these other add-ons that is like at VTS weapon resting. If you get the error that you can't start because of it, just take it and drag it out to common and see if you can start the game. Then if you can't, then I uh, need to take a deeper look at it. But that's a common problem and that's a common fix that I have found for it personally.